this edition of Mac Voices could have been sponsored by you. Mac Voices is always looking for sponsors who appreciate our high signal, low noise approach to tech topics with an Apple focus. Our sponsorship packages feature inclusion in all of the audio and video versions of Mac Voices at all of their distribution points, a web presence, inclusion in the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and more. Get the details by contacting me at chuck at macvoices.com or contact Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. And by Mac Voices Magazine, our free flipboard magazine that brings you some of the best Mac, iPhone, and iPad productivity tips on the web. High in signal, low in noise, just like Mac Voices, Mac Voices Magazine includes information on how you can get more out of your Apple technology. Subscribe at macvoices.com slash magazine or search for Mac Voices Magazine on Flipboard. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the Talk of the Mac Community, and I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, it may be spring for at least some of us here in the Northeast, but I'm already looking forward to July for a very specific reason, and that is Mac Stock in Chicago. I had a great time last year. I think everybody that attended had a great time. We're hoping you will attend this year. And to tell us about this year's Mac Stock, we have the two organizers of Mac Stock and the Midwest Mac Barbecue. First up, Mr. Mike Potter of Mac Stock. Mike, it's great to have you. Hi, Chuck. Thanks so much for having me. Really appreciate it. Hey, I'm I'm delighted to have you back uh, again to to talk about what's coming. <laughs> His partner in crime, of course, Mr. Barry Falk, uh, who is the organizer of the Midwest Mac Barbecue. Barry, great well, thank, to have you. Thanks for having me back. Greatly appreciate it. And we survived the first year to the point now that we're really joining forces. And we'll talk to you about that in a little bit. Good, good. Well, I, I gather then that you must have deemed both events uh, or the combined event or however you looked at it as uh, a success, at least enough to try to bring it back for a second time. Oh, I well, think I, it was an incredible success. Yeah, absolutely. Um uh, you know, we talked about that when we came back on your show again uh, after the conference last year, and uh, I think by all accounts, uh, it, it it was a success. Uh, you know, there's something incredibly gratifying about putting on a conference like MaxDoc, uh, not really knowing if it's going to work out or or not, and then uh, folks coming up to you when it's done and telling you what a great time they had. And, uh, you know, the support that we've had, not only from the speakers, uh, such as yourself, Chuck, uh, but from the attendees as well. I mean, people really seemed to get what we were trying to do with MaxDoc, and I think they really liked it. Yeah, I, I would totally agree. The, the feedback that I got literally at the time people were arriving at the barbecue was off the charts. <laughs> and they were, uh, one of the first comments uh, was that, Mike must have been doing this for years. It was so well organized. <laughs> the speakers were great. Uh, the audience had a great time, which is fantastic. And I really just got me pumped up. And of course, then we had the barbecue, which I was just over the moon at just how wonderful it was just to meet so many new people, have this incredible vibe of the community in one place. And just um, taking that, you know, it was, we all talked about it, it was an opportunity, unfortunately, with Macworld uh, going on hiatus. We want to do something to kind of fill that gap. And I think, you know, we, we both did a great job. And, and Mike and I talked afterwards and we're like, wow, that was something. And we both we both were exhausted and just elated at that response. And we're like, OK, now instead of what do we have, Mike, six weeks uh, to plan yeah. this out, yeah, we had essentially six the cost, course of a year. So it, it's been great. We met up um, late last year to start talking locations and plans and just noodling some ideas. What worked, what didn't work. And really there wasn't much that didn't work. And I'd say probably the biggest challenge that we had was just the fact that we were so physically separated between two, our two events. So Mike, uh, Mike started throwing out some ideas at us, Mike. Right. <laughs> well, I think, uh, Oh, go ahead, Chuck. Oh, no, I was going to say, I, I don't know how much detail we want to get into. One thing though, I want to point out before we start talking about the logistics, this was, I think some folks thought it was a regional kind of conference, and it turned into an international conference. We, we had people there from Europe. Um, you had people that had driven down from Canada. You, you just you had an amazing mix. And it, first of all, I think it said something about the need for a community event like MacStock in the absence of Macworld. But it also said so much about just this community wanting to get together and, and enjoy each other and you know, geek out uh, on some things and just in general have a good time in, in other ways. 
Oh, absolutely. And, you know, what's incredible is so many of those same people are coming back again this year. So it's going to continue being an an, uh, international event. Uh, Don McAllister, of course, this year, instead of uh, merely being an attendee, is going to be a speaker. Uh, So I think that's going to be really great. And uh, we have a, a number of other folks coming in from, uh, you know, Canada and, and Holland and whatnot as well. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, coast to coast and uh, across the pond as well, as it were. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's incredible to me that you have people that took a almost like a trip of a lifetime, right? You come across the United States from, mm-hmm. from Europe um, or you drive down from Canada. I mean, these are not easy trips for these people to do. Yet they were as soon as we had these dates, they're like, how do we how do we sign up? I mean, the, the enthusiasm <laughs> was wonderful. And what I also liked about it was a lot of the people who are local and, and Mike, you know, certainly David Ginsburg is probably the best example of people. We've really cemented these relationships. Um, you know, he's been on your show several times. Uh, we've attended, he's got the, Oh, what's the name? Uh, Chicago Suburban Apple User Group. <laughs> Sorry, Suburban David. Chicago <laughs> Apple User Group. Yes, that's right. It. But again, it, it you know introduces us to a whole new great group of people, um, and they've been uh, a great part of the community, and they're all excited about coming again this year. And and David and I talk on a regular basis about what we're doing because we're both in the corporate world. Um, and, and again, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Max Doc. Yeah, yeah, and I know that I've I met people here that there excuse me that I've had on the show, um, and want to get them back on. That's just it. There was it, there were a lot of attendees, but but it wasn't just a it just wasn't a, a, just a user conference. There were plenty of users there, but there were also so many people that are involved in a lot deeper way in the community. And I just, I, I just felt like it was really special. And everybody was welcome. It didn't matter if you just bought your first Mac or if you were an old pro. It, it, it was so welcoming and, and so much fun. So let's talk about some of the logistics, because um, I, I sort of interrupted you Um or when Mike, when Barry sort of threw it to you and said that you know you, you're trying to redo a few things this year, yeah, uh, <clears throat> as much fun as everyone had last year, uh, you know the number one comment we got, and this was simply because of the way things came together last year. the The number one comment we got was how far away the barbecue was from the conference itself, and uh, to be perfectly honest, that was that was unavoidable. Uh, last year. But now, as Barry said, we got together in August and we said, OK, we're going to we're going to bring these two events a little bit closer together. And uh, how can we improve the experience for the people who are coming? And the I think the number one thing that we've done is as soon as the conference ends on Saturday, uh, five o'clock Saturday is the, the end of the first day, uh, the folks can literally walk to the barbecue. Yeah. And this is, because this we're going to have it on the same campus as the conference. Yeah. And Mike had showed me, you know, we, we drove around. I mean, the one thing that I missed is I actually missed Max stock last year cause I was playing yeah. the barbecue. And right. so I hadn't been to the, the event play location. So we drove around there and he said, there's great outdoor space here. It's right outside essentially where we're going to be having Max stock. Well, what about this space? And totally sold me on it. And we're going to still do a lot of the same things. We'll have some tents. We'll have lots of tables and chairs. So it'll be very comfortable. But it will be so much easier for everybody. Uh, We're still going to have the great barbecue, you know, that we had last time. You know, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. And so I think people will will, will basically get another hour of everybody being together instead of traveling down the wonderful uh, Chicago highways, which are still under construction. And uh, it'll give us more time to be that community. And then... Even if afterwards, there's always it, this is where it really st- feels like it can be that Mac uh, Mac World vibe is like when we're done with the barbecue, people can just hang there. They can go back to their hotels and there's just a whole bunch of great restaurants and uh, bars in the area if they want to hang there. So lots of options for everybody. Now, last year, if I remember correctly, the, the hotels you all were recommending um, that a lot of us stayed in were probably closer to Barry's house and therefore closer to the barbecue. Are the ones you're recommending right. this year closer to just the, the whole event? Yes. Uh, the, the two primary hotels who stepped forward and, and uh, volunteered blocks of rooms are both in Crystal Lake, uh, just a real short drive down the road from where Max Stock is being held. Uh, Max Stock is at the McHenry County College, uh, which is right on the border of Crystal Lake and Woodstock. 
And uh, these two hotels, the Holiday Inn in Crystal Lake and the Comfort Inn in Crystal Lake, are both very close. They offer shuttles. Uh, they're near those restaurants and bars that Barry mentioned. And in fact, the Holiday Inn in Crystal Lake even has a nice lounge and bar area that people can hang out with uh, as, you know, kind of an after party when the barbecue's all over. So uh, there's lots of opportunities to get together and continue to socialize, uh, you know, into the wee hours of the morning, Sunday, and then be up in time and fresh for uh, Max Doc to continue on Sunday. Yeah, and I think that's a great aspect of it. This is a longer event than last year, where we were basically one day and then the barbecue and that was it. Now we have a, a day and a half. So, you know, to get a little bit of sleep so you can show up again Sunday morning <laughs> for uh, the rest of the great conference. All right, so I want to get into Mac Stock Day 2 in a second, but Barry, I have to ask, one of the highlights of, of the Midwest Mac Barbecue had to be everybody doing dishes in your kitchen. <laughs> um, because it seemed like everybody passed through there at some point, and yes, they did. some were helping, and some, I think, were thrown out um, because they weren't able to help. <laughs> But uh, so, so we won't we won't have that pleasure this year of, of helping clean up, I guess. No, we'll have large you know, bins that people can just chuck their uh, you know, no pun intended, their uh, plasticware and their uh, paper plates and all that. But uh, no, again, we just want people to have a good time. And, you know, it, it, it'll be an event that I think people will have a lot of room and hopefully the weather will cooperate a little bit more this year. But we'll also have, you know, we'll have some fun things. I'm not going to quite give away all my little secrets yet for the, the barbecue itself, but I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, even if it was just food and people hanging out, it'll be great, but we're going to take it up to another level. Okay. That yeah. sounds that sounds good. So you just kind of casually th threw out there that there's going to be a day, a, a day two or second half of a, a day two. What is this all about? Well, I was, uh, oh, I thought my mic was muted. I apologize. Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, we had a lot of support for MaxDoc. And uh, to Barry and I both, that support is an incredible motivator. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's really what drove Barry and I to be where we are today. And that is uh, a conference that's in its sophomore year that will look and feel very much the same as it did last year. Uh, in other words, it's going to give people everything that they loved about the first Mac stock, uh, but it's going to offer more, you know, uh, and by more, I mean, uh, we've more than doubled the number of speakers. Uh, so last year uh, we had eight speakers. Uh, this year we have 18. And uh, we've also, as I mentioned, we've improved the coordination of those two events. So they're 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 literally in the same venue. Um, but. In order to accommodate all that, MaxDoc itself is now a day and a half. So we're going to be running on July 16th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. with the barbecue following thereafter. So the barbecue is going to run from 5 p.m. to uh, 8 p.m. And then Sunday, we reconvene for the continuation of the conference, and that's going to be from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And uh, it would have gone a little bit later, but that was the latest I could push it because there's actually another event coming into the conference center right, right after Max Doc, so uh, they're 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 kicking us out at twelve thirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would imagine after this 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 time around, they're probably going to say, you know, well, could you stay for three days because we <laughs> love you so much. Uh, so, I, it, it, is it too early to get into speakers, um, or because I know a lot of the details are still being worked out, but I wanted to make sure we give people some advance notice uh, so they can get their tickets, they can make their hotel reservations um, before things are sold out. Uh, and may maybe, that's, actually, maybe that's where we should start here. What does it cost to attend and how do they go about doing it? Uh, okay, so <clears throat> the cost to attend, this is an all-inclusive event. It, it, it includes, as Barry said earlier, uh, the uh, both days of MaxDoc. So that's all day Saturday and uh, that half day Sunday, which really is just just shy of double the number of hours that we had last year. And then it also includes the barbecue. It includes lunch on Saturday. Uh, we're going to have an all morning long snack bar on Sunday for uh, people to kind of, you know, nosh along as the day goes. And then, uh, of course, everybody gets a T-shirt and there'll be some other well, you know, some other surprises and stuff, too. We have some giveaways from McCallie, for one. Uh, so that's always fun. So there's a lot of really cool stuff going. It's all-inclusive, and that uh, one ticket price is $149. 
So, uh, uh, you know, if uh, people hang on to the end of this, uh, I'll also have a coupon code that they can use to take a little bit off that price as well. Hmm. Okay, great. And the, the hotels, the room blocks are still available, I gather. Yeah, you know, what's really nice about these hotels is that they've uh, set aside a block of rooms, but then they've also offered to allow those blocks to grow as people make reservations. So uh, both the Comfort Inn and the Holiday Inn ha have offered that. And uh, I, I believe we've already begun expanding the block at the Comfort Inn and the Holiday Inn is just about ready to add some rooms to that block as well. So uh, they're bo they've are both been very accommodating. They're both very nice hotels. And I think people will be happy at both of them. Great. Yeah. One thing I'll just comment on that, just because well, that's kind of my old, old business. I used to be in, in the hotel business is that of course, you should go, and, and there's no reason not to. But if you're on the fence right now, you probably still want to block those hotel rooms for yourself. Just call, make the reservation. Just make sure you understand the cancellation policies. Um, that way, in case you're like, yep, I can go, then you get stuck. And there's, you know, this is a tie season for weddings and other events in the area. So they can fill up. So I would recommend people at least looking at that early. Of course, if they don't mind driving or if they're thinking about spending time in Chicago and they have a car, um, certainly, that's an option too. Is you can stay closer to the airport or even downtown. But that that uh, you know, it's nice to be that that close to the event, especially for Saturday night. Yeah, you, well, you're 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 right, Barry. It is high season for the hotels, and uh, they both made a point of uh, mentioning that when I set up, you know, got these blocks of rooms. So it is, it, even if you're not sure you're going to go to the max stock, as, as Barry said, you probably should go ahead and get your rooms and both of these hotels. In fact, there's a couple others on the list as well, but these two are the closest. Uh, both of these hotels allow you to cancel up to a month ahead. Of, so. Okay. Um, I, I don't know, Barry, Mike, um, transportation from the hotels to uh, the college. Is is that something that is going to be worked out or do we need to start thinking about taxis or ride sharing or? Probably a combination of all of that, to be honest. Okay. Uh, okay. The, the hotels do offer shuttles, uh, but they are going to be pressed because they only have a limited number of shuttles and a limited number of times that they they uh, uh, run those shuttles. So you do, if you're hoping to get the shuttle from the hotels, you do want to talk to the front desk as soon as possible, perhaps even when you're making a reservation so that you can get on that list and make sure that they can accommodate you. Uh, there are a couple great local cab companies, uh, you know, clean, safe uh, uh, drivers and, and cabs that you might want to reach out to. And I'm going to list those on the website as they, they come forward and give me the information. Uh, the one that we used last year is Route 47 Taxi and Transportation. And they're, they're a fantastic company and you can't go wrong with them. And uh, of course, there is going to be some ride sharing as well. So, uh, you know, I know a lot of folks are going to be renting a car at the airport and driving on in. And I'm sure, I'm sure they'll be happy to share the ride with others to get to and from the campus. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is where, you know, I think one of the reasons Mike and I like doing this is it's not so big where we can't communicate with the attendees, right? If some, someone has a question, they want help arranging a ride or, you know, they just in general want to know more about the area, Chicago, Woodstock, wherever it is, uh, reach out to us. I mean, this is definitely the way we want to keep it to a community that we can work with. We don't want to, I mean, hey, kudos to Paul Kent and having 30 some thousand people show up, but there's no way you can have that level of involvement. Yeah. Yeah. And these, no. are, these are questions I think people need to know because I, I'm hoping anybody that went last year is not going to have any qualms about coming back. So I think what we're targeting here is the people that were on the fence and didn't come or maybe just didn't come and weren't even on the fence. I, I, we want you there because you will have a great time. And, and I'm afraid I, I'm as bad as a lot of the attendees when it comes to, oh, we had a great time. We came away with a lot of learning and a lot of knowledge because you had some great speakers. You had me too. Um, and and <laughs> there was there was a lot of education going on and information. And I know I came away with uh, a couple pages of notes about stuff that I either didn't know or wanted to come home and try. So it's, it's learning, it's education, it's fun, it's socialization, it's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I, I know I upgraded a couple titles on my on my Mac just because of the talks that were given at MacStock. So we all benefit from it. And uh, I, I'm, you know, if, if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead with the speakers because I'm just so, so uh, 
so overjoyed that these folks have stepped forward, not only speakers from last year, but but brand new folks to MaxDoc who, who didn't even make it last year said, yeah, I would like to come and speak this year. So I thought what I would do, Chuck, is uh, – I get into trouble as I list these things alphabetically from time to time. So uh, I, I decided this time I'm going to list them alphabetically by first name, uh, just to be a little different. Now, admittedly, that does put Allison ahead of Ooh. you. But, you know, that that's where I can get in trouble sometimes. So sometimes I reverse the order. Sometimes I put it in, in you know, A to Z. But this time I thought, I'll just do by first name. Now, my, so, Mike, let, let me just rest, have you rest comfortably that, you know, let's just get it over with and move on and then that'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I, I you know, I'm, I'm sure folks know most of these names. Uh, Adam Christensen of the MacCast is going to be speaking this year. Allison Hartley is going to be speaking. Uh, be speaking, and she's going to be talking. Uh, she's from the Tech Doctor podcast, by the way, and uh, she's going to be talking about iOS accessibility issues. Uh, we have Allison Sheridan of the Nocilla cast, of course. Uh, Chuck Joyner from Mac Voices is going to be speaking again this year. By the way, Chuck, your talk was was really a, a great one, and anyone who wants to watch your talk can go to macsdoc2016.com, and you can go see under Macsdoc TV. You can go watch your your talks, and, and I invite people to do that. Thank you. Uh, Dave Ginsburg, we mentioned earlier, he's from uh, uh, Suburban Chicago Apple Users Group. He has been a phenomenal supporter, uh, not only of my podcast, because he is a regular uh, guest on my show, uh, but also of MacStock itself. Uh, Don McAllister, Screencasts Online, is going to be speaking. Uh, Dr. Robert Carter, I mentioned just a moment ago, also from the Tech Doctor uh, blog and podcast. He is going to be speaking on OS X accessibility issues. Uh, Guy Searle from the MyMac.com podcast. Uh, now, this next one is kind of interesting. I'm going I'm to leave the um, alphabetical list for just a moment here because we have Jody Spangler and uh, Melissa Davis. Now, Jody is with uh, Lakeshore Mac out of Michigan, and Melissa Dave Davis, of course, is the Mac Mommy. And these two are going to be doing uh, what they promise to be one of the funniest talks we've ever seen, <clears throat> which worries me. It worries me just a little bit. But I, I trust them to put on the funniest talk I've ever seen. Uh, Julie Keel is coming back again this year, which is going to be great. I really liked her talk last year on what she carries with her as she um, uh, uh, m migrates <laughs> from location to location. Uh, Kirshen Say is going to be here. Uh, Matt Hillier, um, Mike Schmitz, Tim Robertson from TechFan and MyMac.com. Uh, Tom Piper. Now, Tom, you guys might remember, came on stage for just a short period of time last year and talked about Apple user groups. Uh, Apple user groups are very important to the community. MacStock is very community focused, and I thought it might be a good idea to have him come and give a full talk about Apple user groups and the benefit to the community. Uh, Victor Katchow from Terratech uh, Podcast, I'm sorry, Victor, is going to be there, and uh, Wally Chwinski is going to be speaking as well. So that's that is a full lineup, and all of these folks, uh, they, they jumped on the chance to speak at MaxDoc, and I'm, I myself am so excited to hear many of these talks that uh, I can't wait for MaxDoc to get here myself. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible just, and, and I know there are people that we basically had to turn away, because once they started hearing about it, they're like, oh, I'd love to speak. Can I? And I'm like, oh, sorry. You know, it's, it's great. It's a great problem to have, right? And it gives us some thoughts. Well, Boy, I'm like, we can start to even plan ahead to 2017 It's at this rate. So just, again, so excited at this incredible talent that we'll have out there. Yeah, I, I've heard probably half to two-thirds of those people speak at one event or another. And I, I, I get just excited thinking about, you know, all of the all that. And the ones I haven't heard, I obviously, I know by reputation. So that means I get to, to meet some new friends and have some new experiences. So that, that's fantastic. Yeah. That really is. Yeah. That really is. Um, is it? I, I don't want to oversell this, guys. But is it possible that this could sell out? I mean, is it one of those situations where you could have to close the doors? Well, I, mean, I, I suppose it's possible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that would certainly be a, a goal of ours. We'd love to have it. Um, I think Mike's got this. You know, the size of the location is such that even if we do sell it, it's still intimate enough that you don't feel like right. you're in. 
one of those massive auditoriums, uh, you know, like when they go to Moscone Center. Uh, that's just it's just not fun there. Here you can see people, you can make eye contact, you can hear people laughing, and it's just uh, again, I think it feeds upon the energy. So yeah, we're definitely gonna we're definitely gonna push it. But at some point, there is a there is a cap, at least with the facility that we have this year, and we think it's a great number. Good. Yeah. Well, it's it, it's a great facility. <clears throat> really, and uh, you were there last year, Chuck. Uh, the Luke Conference Center at McHenry County College uh, has a maximum capacity of 350, right? So even if we, you know, uh, sell out, uh, we're still, as Barry said, we're still on target to keep this a nice, um, intimate type event where everybody can speak with everybody else who walks through those doors. And that's that's really kind of what's at the heart of MechStock. Great. I, I bring that up just, I mean, obviously, in, in some ways it was probably a dumb question because at the very least they're fire marshal regulations. But just, <laughs> right. just the idea that you probably don't want to necessarily wait until, you know, July or June 30th, July 1st and say, oh, you know what, I think I'll go to Max Talk because, you know, there's you could be be turned away. And that's that's not cool, if you, especially if you really want to come. So and believe me, folks, you really want to come. You really want to come. Yeah, I, I, I agree. If, if you want to go, you really should get your tickets sooner than later. Uh, we're not planning to sell tickets at the door. Uh, if there are any seats left open by the time MaxDoc gets here in July, well, you know, we, maybe we will. But the, the intention is that, uh, you know, if you want to be there, you should probably go ahead and get your ticket now. Uh, most especially because if you wait too long, if you do buy it at the door, we're not going to be able to accommodate you for for the dinners, you know, for the lunches and things like that. And that did happen to a couple people last year. They bought their ticket too late and we, we simply didn't have uh, a lunch for them. Now they, you know, they, they got a little discount as a result on that to, just to cover the food. Uh, you know, they weren't paying for food they, they couldn't eat, goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I, I want everyone to have the same experience and, uh, you know, making sure that you get there and get on that list and, and, Get it, take advantage of all that we can offer you is uh, is important. Yeah, and and that's something, Mike. I, that I may I may get you both to reiterate that we're talking about you know all the food that you described, not just for the Midwest Mac barbecue, but the breakfasts, breakfasts, lunches, and all that are all included. So it is as as Barry, I think you said it's an all inclusive. Everything is taken care of. Um, and and that's yeah. that means that these guys have to have a little help from you folks in signing up early, so they know how much food to order and how much can be there, because they want to put on a good event. Absolutely, and and I think and when we've gotten some people, you know, some of the tech writers out there that really like the idea that this is centralized, that it's in the middle of the country, essentially. It's certainly easy to get to. O'Hare is very, very easy to fly into, or even Midway if you want to go to a different airport like that Southwest flies into. And then just basically spend the weekend out, and it's a beautiful, beautiful area. I just love, you know, when I drive up to meet Mike, uh, we've done some of the, you know, um, format guys only TV. It's just, a, it's just a great place to hang out. Not to mention, and Mike knows they have great, great cookies, but that's, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> the key, co the key ingredients are good conferences. Great exactly, cookies. It. great yeah. cookies. Um, for the, for those who have signed up or whatever and they want to kind of keep up on the Mac stock news, is there a newsletter or is it the best thing to do just to hit the website every so often? Or follow no, they're, you all? they're absolutely yeah. Well, you, all of that. So you can follow me on Twitter, uh, which is Mac Stock Expo. Uh, you can sign up for the newsletter if you go to MacStock 2016com uh, there's a spot right on the homepage to sign up for our newsletter. And, they're, they're, you know, I'm not going to bombard you with these things. This is just it's a fairly infrequent thing when there's something important for people to know about. Uh, for example, when we had, you know, we had uh, some some ticket sales and stuff earlier this year. Uh, it's 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 a place for people to learn about that. And uh, certainly as we get closer to the conference to learn about things that you need to know if you are coming to MaxDoc. So there's that. And, of course, uh, there will be the uh, blog posts on. Uh, on you know news information about it it might it might vary where that information is posted uh, for example this episode uh, uh, will be in the blog because i want to make sure that people can can watch it uh, not only at macvoices.com but on macstock as well uh, so yeah sign up for it all <laughs> great yeah there you go and barry how about you how do they find uh, you and uh, is there something is is are you doing anything separate for the for the midwest back barbecue or is it all just mac stock rolled into one 
it's really rolled into one. I do. I still have the uh, Midwest Mac Barbecue website, and I've been very poorly updating it. Mike is a machine. He puts out these newsletters and updates the websites and does does everything. And you know, here I am. I can I can't even show up on this for this podcast on time. So it's. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll have a link on there. Uh, certainly, if people want to reach out to me, uh, Falk B at Twitter, uh, which is F U L K B. Uh, feel free to always ping me there. And if you have questions, locations, you, if you have dietary needs, please let us know ahead of time. We'll be happy to accommodate you. We, Barry, don't worry about it. We know it's not easy running for president. <laughs> so. Well, I will, I will say I'm trying to get something. My, my new special favorite is bacon wrapped to bacon. I try to have that for the barbecue. Bacon wrapped to And then to dipped bacon? in chocolate, right? Yeah, well, well, there you go. That'll be dessert. <laughs> Seriously? Bacon wrapped bacon? I'm trying to see if I could do something. <laughs> I just love bacon so okay. much. Okay, never, never is, heard is, that. Is one. that patent pending? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good enough to come to Chicago right there. See, yes. right there. Bacon wrap, bacon wrap, bacon. Well, guys, I I hope to have you back on obviously at least once, if not a couple times before Max Talk, and also to get some of the presenters on, help introduce them to your audience and mine, so that when they get to Chicago, they'll feel like they're they're amongst friends, um, which they would be anyway. But I, I've, I want to thank you for last year. I want to congratulate you already on this year and your efforts. It's going to be great, and I'm really looking forward to it. Can I, well, can we I, can't wait to see you here. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I, I was going to say, Chuck, can I flip the tables here a little bit? Can we, can we talk about your idea? Do you mind? Which, which idea we was this, that? Mike? We, we discussed a couple free show. Which one are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I'm talking about the road to Max Doc. Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Do you, do you mind explaining what, what you're planning to do with that? Because I just think this is amazing. And, of course, anyone who follows Mac Voices would, would be seeing these anyway. But for folks who are just learning about Mac stock, um, uh, Chuck is talking about doing a whole series of videos called The Road to Mac Stock. And uh, it's going to include interviews with our speakers, uh, sponsors, uh, of course, Barry and I. And it's just going to be a nice lead up to the Mac stock events proper. So, um, yeah, thank you very much, Chuck, because I think that's just going to be phenomenal. And that's the type of support I was talking about. This kind of stuff is really what makes Mac stock special. And, um, you know, you make Mac stock special, Chuck. Well, Hey, I appreciate it. I, I used to do the road to Mac world and I always, I enjoyed it. And I, I had a lot of feedback to those things saying, you know, gee, I, I, I got to know this person. And of course we don't ask the people, we in fact specifically don't ask them to come and talk about what they're going to talk about at Mac stock. Um, but people would say, you know, gee, I never thought I'd be interested in, or I didn't know this person. And I went to their session when I got there because of the show and I really loved it. So I'd like to do that, you know, here as well, just to, to make sure everyone knows some of the people they're going to be hearing from and uh, in, in, in something other than just the Mac stock uh, arena. The other thing I, I've done and I'd like to do here too is, you know, for the Mac stock speakers, excuse me, Mac stock sponsors, try to say that a few times fast, Mac stock sponsors. Um, you know, these are the folks that help fund Mac stock and make it possible. And so, you know, definitely we'll plan to have them on the show as well um, to talk about what they do and what they, what, what they deliver, as well as why they're supporting MacStock. So, a lot to do between now and July, but but I'm looking forward to it, and I know you two have a lot more to do, so thank you. Thank you. And, and any other details we want to reveal now, or are we saving everything else for later? Yes, we actually I would like out? to... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, well uh, yeah, there's that. I guess we should probably mention the dates. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, 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 the dates are July 16th and 17th, uh, 2016, of course. And uh, the offer I mentioned earlier, Chuck, for any of your listeners uh, who might want to come to MacStock, I have a special coupon code set aside just for Mac Voices listeners. It is uh, Mac Voices 25 off. Uh, that'll get you $25 off that $149 ticket price. And uh, feel free to uh, purchase as many tickets with that as you would like. <laughs> Great. Up until we sell out, of course. Yes, until course. we sell out. Yes. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. I know. Uh, I know the listeners and viewers will appreciate it as well. Barry, anything from your side? No, I just uh, really excited about this, uh, Mike. You'd mentioned this earlier. Uh, we have the videos. A lot of the videos up from last year. They're on on the site. Uh, it's a great way if you're not familiar with some of the speakers, or you just kind of want to get a feel for some of this. I think it's a great way to just kind of immerse yourself into what Max Stock is all about. 
Um, you know, you'd mentioned about people cleaning in, in my the kitchen and all that. We had podcasters. We, I think we had three separate podcasts going at, at some point. Um, and it was, it's just great. So, um, if you go back, uh, Chuck, I'm uh, sorry, not, uh, Chuck, I know you did, but, um, Guy and Gaz did, uh, one of their podcasts right in the middle of it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, again, it's a good place to kind of catch what the vibe was. Just, just to, it's, it's unique. And that's what I like about it. And the, the overall energy I get throughout the entire thing, it's, it's so overwhelming. And it's just, it's one of those events you do feel sad when it's over with, because you're like, man, what a great time. But that just gets me so jazzed up for the next one. Amen. Amen. Well, I've, I I will see you all back here again, uh, at, I, once again, at least once, if not twice, before Max Talk. Um, and if there's anything else you need in, in between, please let me know. Absolutely. Right. Thank you very much, Chuck. I really appreciate yes, being Thank you, on. Chuck. Hey, really no, appreciate it. My pleasure. And folks, I, I've as I said, I'll be here uh, hopefully promoting Max Talk, letting you hear from some of the folks that are going to be there. And we hope you're there. So if you're coming, drop me an email. I'd love to know. Chuck at MacVoices.com. I'll look for you. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.